Hi everyone, it's Cassie, the Young Teen Librarian at East Hampton Library. Today, for our virtual make and take craft program, we are going to make a DIY coffee filter and cupcake liner artwork. For that, what you will need is a piece of cardstock that your artwork will go onto. Of course, cupcake liners and um, coffee filters. Scissors, um, fine point markers, and either double-sided tape like I have here or glue, preferably a glue stick. You can probably get away with using um, liquid glue like Elmer's liquid glue. It's just a bit more messy and might affect the overall look of the product, of the finished project, since it will kind of like, it might bubble up underneath the coffee filters and the cupcake liners. So for this, um, I am actually, I'm going to be making kind of like a landscape. So for my landscape, I'm going to have one, this one cupcake liner, and I already folded it in half because what I'm going to do, just have to get it to, what I'm going to do when I'm ready, I'm going to tape it down. I will tape it down and it will, and it's going to make what looks like rolling hills. And so I'll tape down two, one on top of the other, and then I'm going to color them once they're once they're taped down. So I'm going to move my markers and that over, so I have room to work. layer and then we're going to have our second layer first this is kind of annoying me so I'm going to pull this piece of liner out of here because it keep, keeps moving with the tape and being a bit stinky all right Personally, I kind of like double-sided tape. I feel like it's better than glue. You don't have to wait for it to dry. It's less messy. You're not getting it all over sticky stuff all over your hands. Now granted, certain situations you can't really use um, double-sided tape, but. All right, so that. That is our hills. So I chose these two lighter greens for this. So I'm just gonna kinda kinda color it in. It's gonna be very abstract. two more cupcake liners. We have two cupcake liners. I'm going to use this cupcake liner, this flattened flat, I'm going to use it to make a tree, or at least the top part of a tree. But And I'm also going to use this one to make a sun. Now, I folded it in half and then I folded it again because I kind of wanted to position it in the corner to be like the sun is, you know, you see the sun shining down on the below scene. So what I'm going to do make this a little bit easier on myself. I might use these. I don't know. We will see as I go along. So put 
me get a few pieces of tape for this. in the corner and then we take our yellow and we are going to color in our yellow sun Kind of not the best, I will admit, but it doesn't have to be perfect. And actually what I'll do is I will take my, my black marker and I will outline these rays of the sun that I just made. And I'll even make an outline around there. It's kind of cute. Oh, and what I'll do is I'm going to make an outline around the, the top of this hill. And I'll even do an outline right down the middle so you can see that it's two different hills. Now on this hill, we're going to do a tree. So we want, I would want my tree to be about there. I'll we'll cover that. We're going to outline our tree trunk. So that's our tree trunk. And let's take our brown and we're going to color in our tree trunk. It would be more difficult to try and do this with the cupcake liners. So it's going to be like, it's like artwork that's a mixture of different mediums. All right, so I'm going to set that aside and we're going to tape our, tape down the For this, we are going to take these two greens. Of some other greens in there and then we're going to take it the regular original green and we're going to crisscross over this way Oop. okay now we take our black and we are going to trace around the edge of our tree All 
right. And then for this tree, our final touch, just a few like red circles. We don't have to go too crazy. It's supposed to be a like a red apple tree. So we don't have to go too crazy making stems if we don't want to. There we go. Ooh, let's just put one right there. That's kind of cute, right? Like that. And then I don't really have anything to use these pieces for, but what I'm going to do. Bunch of little birdies flying through the look, there you go it's a little kind of piece of artwork a little landscape that used markers and cupcake liners and um coffee filters it looks kind of cute Kind of, it's, it's bright and cheery. Um, so that is our craft for today. I hope that you enjoyed it and that it inspired you to make your own. And I hope that you have a great rest of your day. Bye.